Hi, I'm Phoebe Nubisi, your business purpose coach and life coach. And today I would like to do this little video because I I really want, I really desire to talk about how to align your purpose with your goals. But I think that the thing that is more important is how to align our purpose to our goals to be more efficient and at the end of the day to do and to focus on what really matters i remember when i was working with one of my coach in business he was telling me that uh most of the times he will have to work first he has his businesses that he he works normally is when he has a free time that now if i'm available you know we can catch up with some of my questions and stuff and Sometimes I was embarrassed and I was asking him that really you do not have time. Listen to what he told me. He told me that when somebody tells you that he doesn't have time, in fact, it doesn't really mean that that person doesn't have time. It's just that the time that that person has, you know, what you want from the person doesn't really matter that much for the person. Like... He was so transparent with me and he told me that in a daytime he really have the time right but he he would rather use it to gain money where people will be able to pay him but since what i was asking him i was not you know it was not a paid service he told me that he cannot put it as a priority so he would rather work for the money first and then in his spare time when he's done with all of his duty now he can set that time apart for me and if i'm available too okay it can work but if i'm not available another time maybe so it was quite interesting he was so honest i was shocked i was surprised but i shouldn't be shocked because it's the reality some other people they will not tell you that directly right but i think that it's really important so I will give you some strategy to, you know, to align your purpose to your goals. First thing that I would like to tell you is that, you know, have your goals written down. Sometimes there are people that say they don't really think that it's necessary to have their goals written down. But I think that is really something that is important because when you write down your goals, you know, the way that you focus you are more aware of what you are supposed to do, you know. And plus, what I would advise you is also to set up your goals, like to put it on the wall, like this one behind me. Like put it on the wall in a way that you will be able to see it each day. And when people, you know, ask you some services or want you to have some commitment, you know, see your goals first. Take a look at your goals and then... Don't be afraid to say no if what they ask you doesn't align to your goals because you don't want to overcommit. Because when you commit to something like to one person or two person, it's already public. You are making something public, it's not private, and they will expect you to work accordingly. And if you don't, you know, fulfill your commitment, they will be, you know, they will be deceived, they will be shocked you know and they will not take you that seriously they will see you as a dishonest person you will break the trust that you have with them and you don't want to do that for a fun fact for a story time like i always want to do in my videos i just had a call like some minutes ago like 30 minutes ago with you know a big brother of mine and he was asking me you know to commit because he wanted to talk with me but i told him that i really do want but i cannot commit because i know that if i commit i will have to be accountable to my commitment but i'm really busy now that i cannot really commit to that and he wanted me you know i was feeling pressured but at the end of the day i've grown so much in that point that i really want you to that is, uh, is listening to me that really you need to have that mindset you know focus on the priorities and if it's really urgent you can really spare some time for that but you know you have to focus on what really matters for the moment because you don't want to please other people while you you know yourself you are not taking care of yourself or the things 
that are really urgent. most urgent and important so you want to do what you are supposed to do and don't be afraid to tell them that hey i have a lot of commitment right now maybe we can push it like two weeks from now or three weeks from now but you know i really want to you know to to make it up to you but i cannot overcommit if not i will not be able to fulfill it and you will get mad at me i really advise you yeah. number two i think i already mentioned it really focus to prioritize according to what aligns to your purpose and focus on what truly matters is really important and also i will advise you to regularly like assess your schedule to look and see if your schedule is really you know honoring or is in alignment with you know your values or what is your goal for now sometimes the schedule evolve you know that there, there will be always change in our lives there there are things coming up you know other things they lose priorities the other ones they become more you know more prioritizable so in a way that you have to assess regularly your schedule and make some updates it's not because you have made you have made your schedule like three weeks ago that you will just say okay i will just go by that no regularly like almost each day you have to assess that yeah so what happened to me is that i remember i had a commitment but you know i was supposed to do a call with you know a client but after that i had a, something that came out that was more urgent and actually i didn't reach out to the client to reschedule it and it was really bad for me but i believe that if at that time i was you know i was inspecting i was going regularly to see what is my schedule now does it align with really the high demand or the the priority that i have now i will have reached out to that client and say hey please i'm so sorry maybe one day before or two days before i'm so sorry can we please reschedule and not letting that clients log in and in the meeting and the client is all alone that's that feeling is really bad and i don't really <laughs> yeah i don't really want to find myself in that situation and that's why i believe that i should improve in that in that part and i believe that it can help you too that you listen to me right now so that was the third tip really assess regularly your schedule and according to what is popping up make some updates some adjustment confirm you know follow up and that's really important